Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on multiple integral. Given problem is evaluate integral 0 to a, integral 0 to square root of a square minus y square dx dy. Friends, here you observe we are doing double integration with respect to x and y variable. What is the integrand here? Integrand is they are not given anything, nothing but integrand is here 1. So we are integrating this one with respect to x and y. And moreover, they are given limits. So it is a definite integration. So while doing definite integrals, you have to know which limit is x and which limit is y. Okay. First here you observe friends. If I consider first, are they given any limit for the, this independent variable? No. I am considering x is from 0 to a and y is from 0 to root of 0 to root of a square minus y square. Friends, you tell me, is y is a function of y? No. So you should not take in this method. So, which method is, uh, which one you have to take? Means, first I am considering y limit as 0 to a. y limit as 0 to a. And what about the x here? x is from 0 to square root of a square minus y square. So, x is a function of y? Yes, x is a function of y we can take. So, now first I am writing the limits. Okay, for the given problem. Here, y is from 0 to a and x is from 0 to root of a square minus y square 1 into dx dy. Why I have written x limits and y limits? The reason is first you have to integrate with respect to dependent variable. Here you observe friends x is a function of y and y is a constant. So first you have to integrate with respect to y. Later you have to apply the upper limit and lower limit. It will be a function of y. Later you integrate with respect to y and substitute the constant limits. Clear? Now I am integrating this one with respect to x. So if I integrate it, now I am integrating with respect to what? x. So write down y limits as it is. One integration with respect to what? x. So one integration is x and the limits are 0 to root of a square minus y square into dy because we did the with respect to x. Now upper limit and lower limit we need to substitute integral from 0 to a. Upper limit is a square minus y square. In place of x, we have to substitute upper limit. Minus lower limit is 0. So, no need to write into dy. Friends, this problem we can do in uh, two methods. One is a polar form we can do. Another one is, uh, in this case, what we have to do means we have a formula. Which formula means in the definite integral or uh, indefinite integral, we have formula integral of a square minus x square dx, which is equal to x by 2 square root of e square minus x square plus e square by 2 sine inverse of x by a. Okay. In place of x, what I have? Y. So, now you replace x by y. Then we will have the integral e is x by 2 means y by 2 under root of e square minus y square plus e square by 2 sine inverse of y by a. Tell me what are the lower and upper limits of y? y lower limit is 0 and upper limit is a. So, f of b minus f of a. First, we need to substitute upper limit in place of y. If I substitute it, then a by 2 square root of a square minus a square 0 plus a square by 2 sin inverse of a by a. Okay friends, this is upper limit minus lower limit if I substitute it, that is in place of y I have to substitute 0. So, I will have 0 into a square minus 0 plus a square by 2 sin inverse of 0 by a means 0. Friends, we know that uh, sin uh, inverse of 1, you can write uh, sin inverse of uh, sin 90. Yes or no? Sin 90 is how much? 1 only. No? So, 1 you can write as sin 5 by 2. Uh, and sin inverse 0 is there. Sin inverse of 0 you can write as a sin 0. So, this term is already 0 and here you have 1. So, I am writing a square by 2. This sin inverse 1 uh, and this is sin, okay, I will write minus a square by 2 sin inverse 0. Okay, now you see friends, a square by 2 is, a square by 2 is a square by 2. Here I am writing sin inverse 1, I can write as a pi by 2 minus sin inverse 0 is 0. So, finally, you will have pi a square by 4. This is the given integral solution for the evaluation of integral 0 to a, 0 to root of a square minus y square dx dy. Is it clear friends? Right. Thank you for watching this video.